Well, you see her regularly on the Morning Blend, and I'm so excited to get to talk with her one-on-one -on -one today. I'm talking about Erica Schlick, author of The Wondering Palette, who is with us now from her kitchen. Erica, it is so good to have you one-on-one -on -one today. How are Thank you? Thank you. I'm so excited to actually be on here somewhat live today. I know, right? I love it. It's much overdue. Uh, first off, though, before we dive in, because I know you, you've got a recipe you're going to share with us, and it's going to be fabulous. But, you know, I'm curious, since it is the new year, what are some of your top tips for eating healthy? You know, keeping it simple makes it so much easier to eat healthy, especially as we're kind of getting back into the groove of working again in the new year. So keeping it simple, I'm a big fan of using fresh herbs and fresh seasoning because that just gives your food so much flavor. And again, it's something so easy to just add some fresh herbs on there and keeping your ingredients just really clean and simple. You know, I like to stay away from carbs personally. I think that that's what something that causes a lot of inflammation in my body. So sticking to high quality proteins, lots of veggies and using those healthy fats to keep you full so you're not snacking on those net bad foods throughout the day that you're starting to get your year started. Okay, speaking of Erica, you were talking about inflammation there and I feel like so many people, especially chefs, kind of have an aha moment that directs where they're gonna put their passions. What was your moment that you decided to make healthy living and healthy eating something that was vital that you wanted to share with others? Absolutely. For me, I got thrown into the deep end with it. So I was diagnosed with Lyme disease in 2014 after being sick for two years. And during those first two years, one of my first diagnoses was actually celiac disease. So I had to go gluten free and really dive into my diet. And I noticed that eating a traditional gluten free diet was kind of full of sugar, full of grains and just replacing those kind of sad American diet foods. And it wasn't until I went grain free really cleaned up my diet, went on a paleo diet that I really started to have my energy back, have less inflammation, less joint pain. And then once I finally got diagnosed with Lyme disease, it kind of all made sense. But diet has still been a critical piece of my recovery and feeling good and keeping my inflammation down. So, okay, Erica, what are you going to make? So today we're going to make a little bit of a snack appetizer. These are going to be whipped dill cream cheese and smoked salmon bites. And I'm getting rid of the carbs on these and we're gonna be using cucumber as our crunch cracker that everything is gonna be placed on. So super clean, super easy to make, carb free and delicious. I like this already. <laughs> okay, take it away, what's the first All right. Step? So I let my stand mixer do most of the work because again, I'm all about making recipes as simple as possible. So I've got some cream cheese in here and I haven't tried it with dairy-free, but I'm assuming that you could use a dairy-free cream cheese as well. And I've got this ranch herb mixture and now that's just a seasoning that I bought, but it has some dill, parsley, lemon peel, chives, all sorts of good things. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my mixer, let that start whipping together. And again, the fresh herbs. So I've got some fresh dill here that we're gonna mix in and a little bit of sea salt and that's it. We'll just let that whip there. Now, what I like to do is put it into, you can use an icing bag. You can even use a Ziploc, which is what I'm using this morning because that's all I have. And you put it into your bag after you've got it mixed in there. We'll just go ahead and get that on there. And now we're gonna go ahead and to put our salmon topping on. Now, I have some smoked salmon and I always make sure to use wild salmon because that is gonna have the best fats and keep it more healthy than using a farm salmon. And I like to give it a little bit of a zest and tang with some lemon juice. And I just use my pastry brush here to brush that on. And that's it. We're just going to go through and slice our salmon pieces here. And to assemble it, we just have our piece of cucumber here, the cream cheese mixture, put our salmon on it. I like to put a few capers on it to give it an extra little zing. And we're just going to top it with some fresh dill. And that's it. So easy. You can have these even as an easy breakfast. Uh, you can have them as an appetizer, afternoon snack. They work for everything and they're delicious. I was gonna say, I love that. Just the fact in itself that you're replacing like the cracker, what people are used to seeing with the cucumber. I'm assuming you could do something like that with other dishes even, right? Absolutely. Anything that has a cracker, I have another great recipe on my website as well that does a Kalamata olive tapenade and I use the cucumber bites for it as well. You know, cucumbers are just so versatile. You can use them for dipping in anything, even like an artichoke spinach dip. Do like cucumber strips to dip in there and that way you get more veggies in, you're hydrating and you're cutting out those carbs. You know what? Uh, you've been such a great addition to our show, Erica. You've got such <laughs> wonderful tips. So the trail to health.com, that's where your blog is, right? Absolutely. Yep. That's where my blog is. You can get my cookbook there. You can also get my cookbook on Amazon as well. Well, Erica, keep the recipes coming. We appreciate you. Take care. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You too.